Hey there, just a quick vid to show you my latest ice-based air cooler. This one actually incorporates a heat exchanger in the back. It's like a little radiator behind that fan. So we got the 7-inch car radiator fan running on solar. We got the air to heat exchanger, which doesn't run on anything. And then we got the water, the water pump in the ice chest with the two frozen gallons and the frozen block of ice. The water's down to about 45 degrees, and the air temp's down to about 55 degrees. And it's cranking. That's a 1500 CFM fan going full blast right now. This one couldn't be better. Working absolutely awesome. Just drop a pump in the bottom and fire it up. Five, ten minutes later, this thing is literally as cool as like a window unit. That's what it's running on right there, 100 watt solar panel. It comes in the door, around, up to the fan. It's an 80 watt fan, 100 watt panel, so that's full blast. And there's no clouds out there right now, so that's running strong. This thing's working unbelievably good. That air is at least as cold as a regular, say, window unit, 5,000, 6,000 BTU window unit, and it's just ice powered. Absolutely cranking. That is freezing. It takes like five minutes to cool the water down. That's if you use tap water. But if you can, use water from your fridge already. Keep some gallon jugs in the fridge. Dump it in there, put the ice in. It'll be cool within like two minutes. And this thing is a 1500 CFM fan. It literally is blasting all the way across the room and cooling it down. Temp in here started at about 84, now it's down to about 75. Very, very comfortable. So it's working great. Super easy build, I'll show you how I did it. Here's just a quick shot to show you a small upgrade I did to this thing. If you don't want to run it full blast, just buy a motor speed control unit. Only 12 bucks on Amazon. Then you just wire it between the battery or solar panel and the fan. And you can set it anywhere you want. At full blast, this thing was getting in the 50s, but look what happens when you turn it down. Now I'm getting in the 40s. Alright, the best way to explain how to make this is really just a quick talk through because the build is so simple it's ridiculous. Again, that's a half inch plywood on the front, roughly 12 by 10. Got the 7 inch car radiator fan on the front, 12 volt 80 watt DC. And we got the 2 by 4s on the sides, both 11 inches long. And that's the basic frame. Then you just take this 8 by 8 heat exchanger and slide it in. And for reference, the 8x8 refers to the fins on the back. Total height of it is about 11 or 12 inches high. Then finally, if you want to give it kind of a finished look, just drop a one-inch towel underneath it and screw it in. Alright, looks good. Alright, then finally I just added the one-inch pipe. These are five-foot long sections, but you can uh, adjust that as you need and one and three quarter inch clamps. Just clamp them on and you're done. That's it, I think.
Then to use it, you just put the aquarium pump on one end, drop both ends in the ice water that's in the ice chest, and fire up the fan. Quick shot of the pump, the connections, and there's the water coming back into the ice chest. The pump's working perfect. There's your air temp, right about 55, 55, 56. Watch the tubes. You'll see the water come in and like two seconds later it comes out. Beautiful. Check the flow out. Freezing when you sit about just 10 or 12 feet away, right in front of it. That's the jug temp. That's the ice block. That's the water temp. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be. That's what it was the first day of testing, 45. See the ice is about half gone, but it's still cranking out the cold air. All right, here it is a bit later in the day. It's been four and a half, maybe five hours. That's all that's left the ice block right there. But the blocks inside the jugs are still like half there. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. Air coming out of there is still freezing. The water is still freezing too. That's kind of interesting. That's what happens when you turn it off. That's been off for a couple minutes and there's just constant air. I don't know where that's coming from. So we either go with the DC pump, that's a 190 GPH, AC pump, that's a 200 GPH, or go with the bilge pump, either a 350 or a 500. By the way, one advantage of this over like the evap cooling is this doesn't add any humidity at all to the air. Zero. Actually takes some out if there's any uh, water that beats up on the copper. I don't normally rank my AC air coolers, but in terms of just sheer power and volume of this thing, this thing is like fierce. This is great. Probably the best one overall. You load it up with ice like that, a little bit of water, use the air to heat exchanger in the back, with the full 7-inch car radiator fan, and it just cranks. It's great. A couple of quick tips on this to get it to last as long as possible. One, just use the minimum amount of water you need to fill this and the pipe, but don't fill it like half or all the way full. There's no need for that. Just enough water to cover the pump, 
and fill this so you're cooling as little water as possible. It'll help the ice and ice jugs last longer. The other thing that actually makes it last like twice as long is start with water that's in your fridge already. Take like four, five, six gallons and fill them with water and keep them in the fridge so they're nice and cool. That'll keep it at around 40 degrees. As opposed to starting with tap water, which is like where I live, like 75 or 80 degrees. As a matter of fact, if you don't want it to be really freezing air, you can just use cold water from the fridge. Just keep a lot of water in there. One last thing. This works as a heater just as easily. You don't have to change anything at all, except you put hot water in the tub, and then it pumps out the heat.